Dream, I saw believers enrolled in the School of the Spirit Ella Anakoya, London, United Kingdom Dream of School on 12 April 2020, I had a dream that I felt was very important to share with the body of Christ. In my dream, I was in a car and was driven to a university that I recognized and I had been to many times in previous dreams. At the school, I saw many students arriving to enroll in courses which they had to take exams for. I asked the leaders of the school about a well-sought-after master's degree course that had been popular with students in the past. I was told the courses were not being offered now as it was not the season for it. Then I saw many students arriving who had already graduated from the popular master's degree course. They were coming to enroll in a course that, in the natural, didn't make sense for them to do, since they already had a master's degree. I sensed that they had missed out on a very vital foundational course, and the degree they had was redundant because it was not rooted in the necessary foundation. The leader of the school said that their qualification in the past was redundant for this season, and they needed to reset and be enrolled again in the school as if they were starting this new course all over again. Everyone, from all walks of life, was coming to enroll in a course where they had to sit and pass exams to prepare them for what was to come. When I woke up from the dream, I felt the Lord was ministering to me that we have entered a new season in the destiny of the nations, a time we have never encountered before, and some of what we had learned that was useful for the old season is now obsolete. This is a time where the whole world seems to have been forced into a season of quietness and inactivity, as it were, to hear what the Spirit has to say. It is a time for intimacy and reading the Word like never before, a time to learn and receive what the Father wants to teach for the times we are in, and the times ahead. Although it is a time of quietness, it is not a time of complacency, as is what is taught will require obedience. Many have been shaken in this season because what they had built had not been rooted in the right foundation. Right now there is a cry of reset, as heaven is calling many to revisit their foundations. I want to share one of the schools I sense the Spirit of God as enrolling believers in, although there are other schools, schools of the unveiling of the mysteries of heaven for the times ahead, which I believe the Father is enrolling some in. Photo via Pixels, the school of faith and obedience one of the foundational schools the Lord is calling a reset on is about revisiting the foundation of what we believe. During this time of the pandemic, sadly, the prevalent feeling amongst many believers is that of fear of contamination of the coronavirus. I discern that opportunities had been missed in the past that would have allowed a faith in the face of turbulent times to be birthed and grounded in many hearts. Therefore many are shaken at this time, but there is another opportunity now, given by the Lord, to allow our roots to go deeper in the foundation of faith. When I pondered why I had no fear in the midst of the virus and had even ministered in the midst of it without fear of been affected by it, the Lord reminded me of how he had prepared me for this season by leading me to meditate, for many hours and months before the pandemic, on scriptures about the power of resurrection, living in oneness with Christ, walking in the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus, and many other overcoming faith scriptures. He said that this was my school to prepare me to live in overcoming faith in the midst of the pandemic so that I would not be caught by surprise when it came. By the time the pandemic came the faith for this hour had already been born in me. As a result, that faith had empowered me to go on cruise in March, where I put my faith in God's covering glory for myself and others on the ship not to be infected with the coronavirus. To God's glory, no one was infected and instead, many unsaved were saved on the ship, as I and others ministered to them. Docking on the islands was a great faith opportunity for me to minister the gospel to many who were in fear of the virus, and who then gave their hearts to Jesus and experienced new hope, including a Chinese man who said he felt delivered of his pain as he accepted Jesus, the Son of God, into his life. When I walked through airports without wearing a mask, traveling until just before lockdown, and even during the present lockdown, I put my faith in Jesus being the air I breath for me, trusting that I would not to be affected by any virus that might be in the air. 
In this season, this faith has made it possible for me to minister and see many come to Christ, receiving hope and encouragement on the streets of London. This faith is one that asks for obedience. Opportunities to obey are tests and exams that determine our next level of authority. Helpful keys for growing in the school of faith and obedience, read and meditate on several scriptures of faith, repeatedly, that will build your confidence during this pandemic until you believe it. If any fear comes to oppose it, bring it into subjection to Christ, take steps of faith and go to the grocery store, or take a walk, if you've been afraid of doing so because of the virus. Take steps of faith to minister to the unsaved you meet as you meditate on being the carrier of the glory of God the world needs. As your confidence grows, you will begin to take back the ground you have lost through fear as you experience peace being restored to you. Photo via Pixabay, one of my favorite scriptures the Lord has led me to meditate on is Romans chapter 8 verse 2. It talks about the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus setting us free from the law of sin and death. As you meditate on this, fear of this present or any future pandemic will loose its hold on you. Build and work out your faith on behalf of your family, life, ministry and the nations. A time to reset for churches and ministries I sense the Lord is telling you to reset, check your roots, foundations. Wait for clear strategies from heaven and don't be afraid to let him challenge what you have believed or held dear, for it is time for his kingdom to have supremacy over all our earthly values. It was during this lockdown that I received a revelation from the Lord to start an online school of ministry. Within such a short space of time, many have started attending the school with their lives being transformed by the Lord, and now several other schools have been planned throughout the year. A time of repentance, intimacy and immersion in the fire of God I agree with many other prophetic voices that have declared this time a season of repentance for the church and the nations. We are in a season where the refiner's fire is purifying our hearts so we can bear much fruit. It is also a time to allow ourselves to be immersed in God's fire of holiness, faith and power. Fairly recently, I had a dream where midget-like demons that could fly tried to jump on me and attach themselves to me wherever I went, but they were continually repelled by a shield around me and bounced off me, unable to hurt me. When I woke up, I understood it was the fiery shield of God that caused those demons to bounce off me. Immersion in God's fire of holiness, faith and power will protect us in these times. There is a school for every season. Friends, let us not grow weary or anxious, for our Lord, the author of times and seasons, is wanting to use this time for his glory to enroll us in the school of his spirit so that we can hear his heart, his word and his voice in a new way. May we grow and be strengthened in the spirit now and for the times ahead. Please don't miss our emerging and newly found prophets. Subscribe here. Ella Anakoya Harvest of the Nation's email, Ella underscore Koya at Hotmail.com website, www.harvestofthenations.com Ella Anakoya is the founder of Harvest of the Nations. She is an evangelist, a prophetic watchman and an author. She preaches a message of revival and awakening in various churches and conferences in the UK, Europe, America, Africa and Asia. She also teaches at equipping schools where she trains and equips the body of Christ. She often ministers as a prophetic speaker to release God's heart and voice to churches, communities and nations. God releases salvation, miracles, prophetic encouragement and various moves of the Holy Spirit where she ministers. For further information about her ministry please visit www.harvestofthenations.com. To receive more words like this in your inbox, subscribe free to the Elijah List at this link https colon slash slash elijahlist.com slash subscribe.